morning guys it is saturday the 13th gotta be a little honest with you i'm a little frustrated i have multiple projects i am working on and they are all stuck in the design phase because i cannot get my cnc spindle figured out started on the cnc in february and got all of it other than the spindle finished within like the first three months. So the last three months I've been dealing with this spindle. There are just a bunch of limitations that I'm stuck within this, making this a little bit more tedious than it needs to be. However, I think I have a solution. All the parts will be in this week. Hopefully by Friday, I will have a fully functioning, fully operational CNC router. Most homemade CNC routers use a router, DeWalt router or spindle that doesn't have any speed control on it. It's just a little knob you twist to guess what speed you're at. Um, and I didn't want that. Um, I plan on cutting aluminum on this and I wanted to have accurate speed rating. Because of that, I needed to use a variable frequency drive to control the spindle. That way the computer can tell the VFD what to do. Um, I also have a limitation to the amount of power I can put to it. I only have 120 volts single phase running through the room and because of my living arrangements I can't change it because I just rent this house. That's kind of the main reason why I'm stuck on this. If I can run 220, problem solved. If I didn't care about speed, problem solved. But those two things are huge factors so I'm just having a hard time working with them. Beside that, it's amazing how getting stuck on one project can just completely mess everything else up that you're doing. And to be honest, it's kind of hard to get out of that rut. And I'm kind of using this episode as a way to talk to somebody and just kind of get this up and in the air and not stuck in my head and I can move on from here and start focusing on the main task at hand and not be stuck on this silly little item anymore. But enough of that. Hopefully with that problem resolved I can focus on the future projects. The main one is a promise to myself for these videos. If I make one video a week for one year, I will buy myself a new camera body. Uh, the first video was the skate park video uh, with my buddy. This will be the second. I wanted this week's to be about indoor rock climbing, but some of the footage I shot wasn't exactly what I wanted, so I will be remaking those and hopefully putting that together in the next couple weeks. So be looking forward to the indoor climbing video. The next big thing is the direction that I want these videos to go in. I'm going to focus mainly on designing, building, and then using camera gear. The drone that I have is fun to fly around, but I've also taken inspiration in designing my own drone, and that's kind of what I got the inspiration from. Another example of a project is a cable gimbal. The idea is there'll be a line connected between two points and there'll be a rig on it that has a, a motor to move its position and a gimbal on it and that'll all be controlled by a remote control. Um, so I'll be designing that, I'll be building it, and then I'll be using it and then I'll show you the footage I have from it. That one will probably take the forefront and run simultaneously along with the little mini quadcopters I've been working on, these little bad boys. The update with the little quadcopter is I'm waiting on all new parts to come in that I've picked differently. Uh, I need to take measurements off of them before I print the next body. So that's all in the future. That's about it. Just wanted to get some stuff off my chest. Um, the spindle thing's really been weighing me down. Uh, I think I have a solution for that. Talking about what's bothering people always helps everybody, so this helps me. Yeah, so 
with the spindle thing out of the way, I'll be able to work on these actual projects, get them out of the design stage and onto the first concept stage and um, go from there. Uh, look forward to seeing you all next week. Um, not sure what the video will be about. I guess that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Take care.